One, two, three, four, five red lights. And there we go, and it's a proper start, I think, of the second row, man, just behind. Larry Ten Voorde, Wouter Boerenkamps goes to second. Larry was maybe hesitating a little bit, but he's still in command. And everyone is going through the first very difficult corners here in Assen. Three wide. The Voorde in defense, Boerenkamp a bit wide. And he goes, he goes back to third. Both August by NGT Cast. No, he's defending second. Oh, that's a nice, nice one. With Robert De Haan. Robert De Haan versus Walter Boerenkamp. And Larry Ten Voorde gets yeah, profit out of it, of course. He is taking some seconds. And it's Robert De Haan in second position now. Walter Boerenkamp in third. Both August by NGT Cast in fourth and fifth with Van Pares and Benjamin Park. Oh there, Sebastien, Sebastien Lajoux, and he's in the gravel bed, and that might bring out for the first time the safety car. We will see, it's yellow flags of course, double yellows at turn four and five. And the whole pack is still racing. Van Parijs is closing in on Walter Burekam. Safety car, of course safety car. Car in the ground. one of the cards from the last race he's enjoying a very, very nice spot this Porsche race maybe a bit uh, unusual to sit there and watch the race and it's now Larry Tenvorde going on speed already we still have to pass the chicane before start finish so no overtaking before start finish of course speed yes but no overtaking and there we go for the second or a second restart or a restart of this race with the whole bunch going into the first right corner second right corner we can overtake again as we see doing flint skewering on lucas van eindhoven flint skewering with the number 16 car he dropped back from fifth to ninth or to tenth the Hooper Racing Car. Lucas van Ento started in the ninth position, is now still right. But it's, it's some the yellow flag T3, T4 now. Incident involving car 33 and T5 noted. And the Horstwilk fellow of mine is back on track. There we see Sam de Jonge in the red hand racing Porsche. Sam is putting some pressure on Rick Kuhn. The whole field, and it's obvious it's a very, very dry track now. It's a dry race. But we still see the rain lights in the back of the car, so that's uh, yeah, they still have to function until the end of this race because it's a wet declared race, it's a wet race, even if, it's, if there's no water on the on the racetrack standing anymore. It's a full, full dry racetrack now. And we go we end on that uh, I think Lucas van Ein van Eindhoven going very wide there in the last part of
little gap. It's Lionel Tamborda leading Robert De Heijn by six points of a second. But the is third of 2.1 second and then it's going for Pompares on almost five seconds. And that's Hans race. He's racing here for the first time as well in the Porsche Carrera Cup this year. He is put under pressure by the pro young pro driver Dirk Schouten from Q1 track racing Belgian team as well. seconds, Ariel Levy is fourth, Rick Poon, Sam de Jonge, Sam de Jonge in sixth now, Vince Schuring, Lucas van Eindhoven, Sasha Norde, first in Pro-Am, Hans Weiss, second in Pro-Am, and then Cedric Sassang, 14th overall and first in M. We will see Lucas van Eindhoven, eighth, actually, followed by Sasha Norde and Hans Weiss, first and second in Pro-Am, and Sasha Norde is yeah, trying Trying something on the number 14 GW race service portion of the US Dirk Scouten as well in this little nice group. From Lucas van Eindhoven, Sasha Norde, Hans Weiss, and Dirk Scouten. 9, 8, 9, 10th, and 11th. But Top two as well of the program class. The cars in the middle of the sandwich are the crew. Oh, and that sounds very, very nice, very nice, very nice. Yeah, he is in the lead of the program class, but he is losing it. Yet he's going too wide by the exit of the corner, and it's again such an order. Meanwhile, Dirk Scouter also went and passed by Hans Weiss, and he's now in the top ten. He's putting pressure as well on Sasha Norder. It's not only the battle in front of the race, it's also the battle in the middle of the pack and even at the end of the pack. And 
Jan van Parijs still in the pit lane, so it's uh, I think over for our Belgian driver, born in Hasselt. And Mika Stanley is as well joining this group and Quentin Antonel, French driver, young French driver, is dealing with this battle. We have I think a five or six car battle there going on and here we see it. Cool move of Hans Wes, well tried, but then he went too wide exiting this corner and he had to give some space to both Sasha Norde and our friend Dirk Scouter. Same bunch of cars still, but Lucas Van Anto is still leading this bunch in eight overall. In front, nothing is changing, nothing really changing though. It's Larry Tavordi leading over the Ham, where the Bulkans are really leading with Kuhn and Sambioa. Kuhn's hearing in seven, putting pressure on Sambioa, and then it's a five second gap to this group. Lucas Van Anto, Sasha Norde, Dirk Scouter, Hans Weiss, Lucas Stanley, and Quentin Antonel. Quentin Antonel as well, Q1 track racing teammate of Dirk Scout. And some debris flying off. Be careful with the tires, of course, because these debris could cause some damage to the tires. And Sasha Morde putting pressure here in the chicane. Dirk Scouter maybe coming close as well. We go to the first right hander of the racetrack. And it's two, even three wide, yeah, three cars in a row. And it's very, very well done by the number five, Mika Stanley here. And I think we have a new leader in the Pro-Am, as Hans Weiss is passing by Sasha Norden. And the purple car of the bunch, that's Quentin Antonin. Vorde again fastest on the track, fastest man on the track in 38.654, so one minute of course, 6.54. We're now halfway the race with 40 minutes to go. 30 minute race plus one track, so we're more or less halfway. race, nice battles here, fair battles as well.
which is correct for the championship, of course. And here we see Lucas van Eindhoven, Dirk Schouten in second position in this nice bunch. He's ninth overall now, Lucas Stanley, Hans Weiss, Sacha Lorde, Carter Antonel, and the rest of the field. There is now a 2.5 second gap between Sedring Sassang and Rolf Popelaars. So Rolf is still leading M. Sedring has a 5 second penalty due to a false start. Benjamin Park, he's back on track and he's now 19th. Recovering some pro M and M drivers in front of him. Maybe we still see him in at the end of this bunch, for instance, by the end of the race. And let's concentrate on Dirk Schouten putting some big pressure on Lucas van going um, into the first right-hander of our favorite bunch of people. With the green Porsche dropping down the order and that's Lucas van Eindhoven. Lucas lost the lead of this bunch and it's now Mika Stanley, 8, Dirk Schout denied. So Dirk tried something presumably on Lucas and he lost some play. Oh, he won. lost one place to Mika, Lucas lost some more places. That's when you're driving a peloton of nice, cool Porsche 911. Mika is standing now 8. Schouten in 9th and Hansweis 10th and still leading pro -M. Same here in this year.
concentrate on this ideal line and there is Dirk Schouten is he yeah he is passing Mika Stanley for and that's eight and nine place so Dirk Schouten is recovering as well Dirk Schouten started in 15 in 15 position oh and then Walter is very wide in this chicane and I think Arya Levy might take profit out of this he is still defending and Rikun is closing in on the numbers three and four in this race so we could get a third man involved in this battle for third position for bronze medal and a big 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 lockup of Mr. Feldemeyer number 88 here in the Porsche Blue Porsche of Uber Racing one minute on the clock now with Marita Vorn still leading don't forget Marita Vorn is still leading the race Robert De Haan is second of four seconds now Walter Bura comes and Ariel Levy going through the chicane before start finish what a nice fight what a good fight we had some nice fighting between some cars in the middle of the bunch we have seen some nice fighting between some of the other they are still separated by half a second as well so nothing decided yet not here for place three four even maybe place number five nothing decided yet for sixth and seventh position and the scout eight Stanley race race leading pro-am Shasang leading am but Ralf Poplar is still within five seconds so Ralf will get this first position due to the five second penalty after a false start of Sidring Shasang Ariel Levy and he is doing everything and he's doing it right I think no Ralf Poplar is defending again what a fine and nice battle is this it's a fair play battle it's no banging it's really proper close racing fair, fair play racing like we love it and this is uh, Mr. Waiting for the leader Larry Tenvorde and I think he will attack his last lap on this Saturday race of the Porsche Cup yes last lap for Mr. Larry Tenvorde first outing in the Porsche Carrera Cup and a first victory and there is Lock up for Ariel Levy. They're not touching before the chicane. Will he try again on Wouter now? He's going the outside way. Wouter is still in the defense of defensive line. Levy is trying the ins. Oh, that's I guess track limits. And he is taking uh, Walter very wide and Aria Levy is in third but we might see some decisions after the race still wait and see number five car cut at, uh, noted cutting the chicane meanwhile I'm in the last lap <laughs> it was uh, intense racing Levy now in fourth position, uh, third position, sorry, Walter Burkamps. Walter Burkamps gets his position back. This could mean that indeed it was track limits. Because this was no full attack, this was getting the other, uh, or making place for the other driver to get his position back. So we could still see Walter Burkamps on third and Aria Levy on fourth. We're waiting, of course, for Larry Tenvorde to cross the line. He is in the last sector, the last chicane. And there is Larry Tenvorde, big applause. Proficiat, as we say in Dutch. Perfect race, pole position, and first place. And then, of course, very happy Robert De Haan because he is second, but he takes points of the first place. And he knows that his rival is out of the race. And there is Walter Burkamps and Arian Levy. What a fantastic finish on the line, on the line. And it's Walter Burkamps taking it for one tenth of a second. Big round of applause for this rookie. Rick Kuhn in fifth, Samuel in sixth. I think Flint Schuring in seventh, of course.
Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, ja, ja.